But first, a father killed when he rushed to help a neighbor under attack. Investigators wrapped up a news conference moments ago with new information and new surveillance video. 29-year-old Moises Arreguin was gunned down trying to protect his 16-year-old neighbor from an armed robbery. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Sarah Donchi. And I'm Keith Garvin. The gunman is still on the run after that attack Friday night. Channel 2's Andy Sirota was at a news conference listening into the very latest information. So, Andy, what can you tell us? Sarah Keith, good afternoon. This, understandably, was very difficult for the family, but they felt compelled to make this heartfelt public plea. They were able to get through it together by leaning on one another for support. In this newly released surveillance video, you can see the gray-colored sedan with four people inside, including the two shooters. Police described the back right passenger as an Hispanic male, 17 to 19 years old. Witnesses say he had bad teeth and angular qualities in his face that makes him look like a rat. The second suspected shooter looked a bit younger, 15 to 16 years old, also Hispanic, with a distinct haircut, curly, puffy hair that almost made him look like a mushroom. Investigators believe the foursome had been casing the neighborhood looking for someone to rob, and they happened to see Aragin's 16-year-old neighbor. Aragin saw them approaching the teen who was sitting in the bed of a pickup truck in the driveway of his home. Aragin intervened as his neighbor was about to be robbed. That's when he was shot and killed. Aragin's brother had this message for the pair who police say killed him. Man, I'm not sure what it is that makes people do these kinds of things and I'm sure I'm sure they're going to be caught and when you are you're going to be brought to justice and that's all I can say that for as long as we're here we're going to be looking for you. Investigators believe someone out there knows something about these two suspected shooters. They're urging anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers immediately. Also, a GoFundMe account has been set up to help the Adegine family with expenses. Reporting live from downtown this afternoon, Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News.